One of the most difficult tests that God Almighty has given us is Fajr prayer or the dawn prayer. Not everyone is going to be successful in achieving it. It is so difficult to such an extent that the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him makes it the standard by which a believer and a hypocrite shall be distinguished. The Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said, the Aisha prayer and the Fajr prayer, the late prayer and the dawn prayer are the heaviest upon the hypocrites. And if they knew, if they knew the rewards awaiting them upon performing these prayers, they would go to perform them even if it meant crawling. As we speak now, my brothers and sisters, there are many Muslims who doesn't have the intention to wake up for Fajr tomorrow. As we speak now, my brothers and sisters, there are many Muslims who don't want to hear Allah's call, Hayya ala salah, Hayya ala al-falah, come to prayer, come to success. As-salatu khayrun min al nawm prayer is better than sleep. Some Muslims say, no, sleep is better than prayer. As we speak now, my brothers and sisters, there are many people who have neglected this obligation. Fajr prayer, as we speak now, as we speak now, there are many Muslims who don't know the reward awaiting them for performing the Fajr prayer. The Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said, whoever prays Aisha in congregation, it is as if he has spent half of the night in prayer. And whoever prays Aisha and Fajr in congregation, it is as if he has spent the whole night in prayer. Can you imagine the reward, my brothers and sisters? Aisha and Fajr in congregation are far more superior than praying the night prayers in Ramadan. You know why? Because Fajr and Aisha are obligatory. They are prescribed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, where the night prayer, whether in Ramadan or outside Ramadan, they are just optional. You may do it and gain reward, of course, but if you didn't, there is no harm. But if you missed Fajr, if you missed Aisha intentionally, then you are in trouble. We know that on the day of resurrection, the sun will be folded up with darkness. The stars will fall and lose its light. The situation will be so tough, my brothers and sisters, except on the believers who does certain acts while they are alive in this world. They will have complete light to guide them on the straight path that is leading to paradise. One of these acts is walking to the mosques in the darkness. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, give good news to, to the believers who walk to the mosques in the darkness, that they will have a complete light, a full light on the rising day. That's why the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, used to make a supplication. Allahumma ja'al fi qalbi noora, wa fi lisani noora, wa min amami nooran, wa min khalfi nooran, wa min fawqi nooran, wa min tahti nooran. Allahumma ja'al li noora. O oh Allah, place light in my heart and light on my tongue and light in front of me and light behind me and light upon me and light beneath me. O oh Allah, bestow upon me light. The reward of Fajr prayer is not only related to the obligatory. The Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said, Raka'ata al-Fajr khayrun min dunya wa mafiyah. That the two raka'ah performed right before the obligatory prayer of Fajr is better than the whole world and what is in it. Can you imagine my brothers and sisters how big the reward is? And let us reflect over this for a while. What prevents you from waking up and performing Fajr? Isn't it worldly matters whether you have stayed all night watching TV or that you did not want to wake up early because you have got work at 9 a.m. or worldly matters. But look at what the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said. He said that these two raka, the optional prayers, are better than the whole world and what is in it. Don't you want to attain that honor and obtain that beautiful reward? Not only that, my brothers and sisters, the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said, Whoever prays Fajr is in the protection of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in the protection of God Almighty. Okay, let us go practical, my brothers and sisters. Here are 10 ways that if we perform them sincerely for Allah's sake, we can maintain Fajr prayer and never miss them, inshallah, God willing. Count with me. Sincerity for Allah's sake, for such a precious time, will never be gifted to those who are not sincere. Determination, be decisive. In other words, if I want to wake up for Fajr, I will wake up. Avoiding sins, major or minor. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, Beware of minor sins, for they accumulate until they do men. Dua or supplication. Dedicate a specific time every day to ask God to wake you up in such a precious time. Righteous companions and friends, wake each other up 
during Fajr and remind each other of the rewards of Fajr. Sleep early and read verse 255 of the second chapter. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made the night for rest and the day for working. Don't ever eat too much at night. Remind yourself of the virtues and the rewards of Fajr. Write down a hadith and hang it next to your bed so that you can keep yourself reminded of the virtues and the rewards of Fajr. Alarm or alarms. Set them before Fajr and put them away from the bed and don't ever snooze. Invite others to Fajr prayer. Imagine if somebody come and tell you that I have prayed Fajr because of you. The Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said, The one who guide others to do a good deed like the one who does it. For many people it is so easy to pronounce the Shahada and become Muslims. But the most difficult part is for faith to take root in our hearts. And Fajr is the measurement by which a person's Iman, a person's faith can be measured. Allah said in the Quran, قَالَتِ الْأَعْرَابُ آمَنَّا قُلْ لَمْ تُؤْمِنُوا وَلَكِنْ قُولُوا أَسْلَمْنَا وَلَمَّا يَدْخُلِ الْإِيمَانُ فِي قُلُوبِكُمْ The Bedouin says we believed. Tell them you have not yet believed. But say instead we have submitted, we have become Muslims. For faith has not yet entered into our hearts. My brothers and sisters, the truthful and the liar, the Muslim and the hypocrite, the believer and the disbelievers, they will be mixed up to such an extent that he will not know whether he is a believer or merely a Muslim. So ask yourself now, yes, I mean it, right now, am I a merely Muslim or a believer Muslim, Mu'min? If the answer is yes, I am a Muslim, I am a Mu'min, a believer, then forsake your bed quickly, return to Allah in repentance and wake up for Fajr.